All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, to get us started Ladies now, here's Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Bo Crusher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your car. successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Looking to land the leg kick now. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves 
deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, beautiful hook. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Able to land there with the straight left. Watch the shot. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Lands the right hand. Swing and a miss by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more. Big ball from Punch Land. Now he gets back to ring. It's very tricky to throw that body kick. Nice kick there by Lee. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, he's hurt. He's got him right here. Just misses there with the left. Oh, what a shot to the body. He's trying to keep his poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly been... Oh, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. So the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Don't land, please. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
Oh, big left hand there. Strong hook lands. Twenty seconds now remain in the ref. Nice counter jab up top by Luke. Yes. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Attempt. That one was blocked. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Big leg kick land. Boom. Just unable to quite find that range. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can do. Oh, land right there, the seminal blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upset. So inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Good punch land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big leg kick land. That's a big strike right there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Liver kick. Lee's punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but you can't take many more like that.
start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Now they're both throwing with power. Leg kick. What a punch. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. It's under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to the feet now. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Effective punch there by Lee. Gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 33 seconds at round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Bone Crusher. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.